This video we're going to take a look at the different views available in daylight. So um, you can do this in pretty much any section in daylight, but for the video we've gone to contacts and people. So um, here we have a very familiar view in daylight. It is um, your list of contacts and the detail view. So uh, just going over what's on the screen at the moment, the far left, you've got your standard daylight menus. The next column, we've got a list of our contacts and they're arranged alphabetically. You can change the order if you want, of course. And then moving over, we've got the detail view, which has got all the details of the contact here. And then finally, you've got the activities um, with that contact, which of course you can filter here. So um, the first thing we're gonna look at is if you want to view uh, the detail screen, the full screen, and get rid of the menus on the far left, this button here does that. So you click that and you've just got daylight on your screen for if you want everything full screen, perhaps you're projecting it from a big screen in a meeting and you don't need everything on the left hand side. Um, so there's that, so we can turn that back on now. The next view is the list view. Um, so again, in the middle, we've got our list of contacts. Um, but what we can do here is this white bar across the top, which is first name, last name, etc. If you click that while holding down control, so effectively right click it, you can add or take away different headings. So we can add a category there. Um, we can take away uh, the company name there. We can do whatever we want. And then we can order them uh, by clicking here. Um, now, if you just want the list of people and you don't want the detail view, this button here toggles the detail view on and off. Uh, so at the moment we've got the detail view on and we can see our details here, our activity here and these dots brings up everything else we might want to do with the contact. And again you've got this button here so you can toggle that on and off. And uh, this view is also great for exporting data. Um, so you just make a list, select them go to file, export, export visible columns and select the rows. And everything visible highlighted um, will export to a CSV. Um, and that uh, includes, you know, the different categories or the different uh, sections of daylight you've got up. So if you want to export email addresses, you have to have emails visible, etc. So the final view we're going to look at is the insight view. So it's the third button here with the graphs on it which brings up the insight view. So for people, um, it's all quite straightforward, quite handy, um, just to give you an insight of what your database, what your business looks like. So um, on the left-hand side, it tells us the number of people we've got in the database. It's got a list of all the various categories and they're clickable. Um, so you can just show the, it, it's a smart filter basically. You can just show the ones who are client and it just adds filters to it. Um, it's got various dates, so you can look when they were created. And down below here, where it says support expires, that's because there is a custom date set up on this database um, for an expiration date for a support contract. Um, so any custom dates you have set will show here. So it could be support, it could be um, a check-in date, it could be uh, you know the first meeting you had with them. Whatever dates you've got will show here as well. And you can also filter by uh, who created them, who owns them, uh, etc. here. So it's quite a handy little feature to have this is. Um, and again, if you want full screen for a meeting, you can toggle that on and off. So it's uh, it's quite good, you know, if you're doing a business strategy meeting, so you can do that. So uh, this is a quick overview of the um, different views available in Daylight 6. Uh, if you have any questions, any requests for other videos, please get in touch with us via our website, www.lgo.co.uk. Thanks.